Hello everybody and welcome to our first look slash second look technically because I realized uh, after the recent update that I never actually did a YouTube video on it and I just streamed it for one of my indie grab bag segments and that thing never made it over to YouTube anyway so technically for you guys this is my first look we only played about 40 minutes of it I think but uh, I, I, did, I was not a big fan of Rogue Legacy 2's uh, early access state when I played it the first time it didn't really capture my attention and there wasn't a lot in the game at the point so I, I, I stepped away for a good amount of time and as you can see here on the main menu they have had nine updates since the launch of early access uh, with its most recent big uh, update the far shores update which uh, just going over what it's been updated just in case you've been a fan of Rogue Legacy 2 or you're new here and you don't know what's new but especially if you're a fan of Rogue Legacy 2 and you haven't been uh, aware of what's new in the game I'm talking too fast without breathing it's a thing we do on the channel I get hiccups the far shores update was it's about a month ago I'm sorry uh, updated two new biomes two new bosses three new classes a bunch of new manor skills a bunch of new manor spells a bunch of new relics a bunch of new enemies a bunch of new heirlooms read redesigned spells mastery experience system I'm curious to see what that is unity equipment curious to see what that is talents 2.0 they reworked the whole talent system core class redesigns magic rebalances challenge obelisks antique system which i heard a lot about and i'm excited to see what those do pizza girl npc lady quinn npc a relic rarity system and an encumbrance system uh which i'm also very excited to see about because in the original rogue legacy you could only equip certain things at a certain amount of uh weight with this new encumbrance system i believe you can actually equip as much stuff as you want but uh, you'll get detriments if you go over a certain max so I'm, I'm curious to see what's all new with it but anyway start a new legacy i should just continue my old one so we don't see the uh opening cinematics i've seen this already but for those that haven't seen it uh who weren't there on the stream when we covered it or just do not know anything about rogue legacy 2 which i'm sure by now all of you do uh rogue legacy 1 by Cellador games is one of the most uh it is a foundational game in this genre of roguelites uh, in fact, it was the first game to coin the term roguelite instead of roguelike. It was the first game to call itself a roguelite because it's the way it handled its own combat and progression instead of being all permadeath. Which games before Rogue Legacy 2 came, or before Rogue Legacy 1 came out, uh, several have done it, kinda. You know, Isaac did it with unlocks. But they didn't affect your current run. Like, you didn't actually upgrade your character and those carried over. You can't, like, give Isaac a plus one tier stat and that carries over the next run. Rogue Legacy kind of built that foundation of meta progression, which uh, some people don't like, some people do like. But yes, here we are, Rogue Legacy 2. Let me remember my buttons. B is our fireball. I do not have mana. It is a very pretty game. It is rendered in 3D. No, it's, yeah, if I'm, if I remember correctly, and I, forgive me if I'm wrong, of course, uh, I believe it is modeled, I'm not reading this, I'm sorry, it is modeled in 3D, but rendered in 2D. So all of the stuff you're seeing right now is actually a 3D model, but it's, it's on a 2D plane, similar to Hollow Knight, actually, funnily enough, that's another game that is, uses that exact, uh, type of art system. Where it is, it's a 3D plane uh, put to us in a 2D sphere. I shouldn't have repeated this because I'm not going to care about the story, so. And I'm sorry if that's uh, something that you're not a fan of. I just don't, I just. Oh, that's right, it's LB to do those things. Intriguing. Not going over there. You can't make me. RB to travel through those things, very strange. I love them. It's a very cool mechanic. Rogue Legacy, Rogue Legacy 1. I've gone on record to say this before, and I'll probably go on record and say it again many, many times. But, uh...
There we go. I forgot. I forgot how to do it. Uh, my, my brain. Rogue Legacy One. I've gone on record before to say that uh, I do not think the game has aged well. I don't think many people would disagree with me in that. I do not think the game aged very well, but for the time that it came out, it was revolutionary in the genre. It was revolutionary. It basically paved the way for dozens and dozens and dozens of other games. Uh, you think about it, Rogue Legacy 2... Or Rogue Legacy... I keep saying Rogue Legacy because I'm playing Rogue Legacy 2. Rogue Legacy came out in... September 2013? Dare I, dare I alt-tab to look at my, my Steam? No, I don't. I believe it was September 2013, maybe October. Uh, if you think about that, it came out a year before even uh, Binding of Isaac Rebirth launched. It came out before Nuclear Throne. It, came, it, it was ahead of the curve in all of those. So we're, we are in this game's version of Castle Hampson here. And as you can see, if I tab, you can see we have a beautiful little map as you, as you have... Uh, pretty much been aware of in the Rogue Legacy. I love the way they've done maps. And they have so many different things. We're in Citadel Agatha. Ooh. I don't like that they've gone away with the, the magic card look of the things. Maybe that's still in the game and I just haven't seen it myself, but I, I do re recall the, the character portraits and stuff were basically like magic cards, like CCGs. So we are Sir James. Interesting. Cool stats. Not really interested. Let's go. Plinkies. They weren't called Plinkies in the first one. What were they called in the first one? I don't remember. Or that 3D ball. The 3 dest of balls. I will go in the center area. Ooh, I, I chose... Uh, I made a bad decision. Oh, I made a horrible decision. Alright, well... That nearly killed us. I can go... Oh, I can't go back in there, son of a bee. I kind of want to go back in there. Hold on. These can have the foods in them. Ah, okay. They didn't have the foods in them. That's okay. Go up. Turkeys. Give me some wall turkeys. Ooh. Oh. Well, dang. They don't respawn, do they? Mmm. Oh, it's just out of reach, too. How unlucky for me. I had a feeling that was going to break. I wonder why that's middle platform is there. Hmm. That chest being missed is a bit of an unfortunate... I just, I, want, I just want to heal. Yo, we got a blueprint. <gasps> Scholar helm. Simple outfit worn by the acolytes in the study. Ooh, baby. Okay. Now I can die and be happy. We've unlocked a thing. I didn't completely fail at my, my duties of a Sir James. But don't worry, <laughs> I will fail. I, I, it's been, it's been a long time since I played even Rogue Legacy 1. Uh, I think I played it on stream a couple of years ago. I returned to it for a day or two just to kind of be nostalgic. It's very good. It's very good. It's just so dated at this point that 
the mechanics in the game... It, it, not even just the mechanics in the game. That's not a fair thing to say. The mechanics in the game mix with the fact that I'm just very... Like, not to toot my own horn here. I'm just very good at Rogue Legacy. <laughs> just, I've done... I've played that game actually so much that I'm the, the guy that can full clear the entire map without like dying <laughs> I could just do the I could just do a full run full clear run that's me I'm that guy I'm that that asshole that just talks about how good he is at games not really but I mean come on it's Rogue Legacy it's not it's not rock science All right. This is a very cool room. It's a very threatening room, though, considering I haven't healed. Got a decent amount of money, though. I'm not gonna lie. You got a decent amount of money, 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 money. <sighs> Can I still hit you through the wall? Can I cheese it? Oh, baby, this guy. The electric blade. I do not like them. The electric boogaloos. I'm not a fan. I also don't like the, uh, one thing I remember from the early access, it's still an early access, of course, but one thing I remember from the, uh, the first time I played this version of the game, and I, I, I'm all kinds of brain dead right now, because I'm not, not even this version of the game. The, 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 the time, first time I played Rogue Legacy 2 to cover it on the stream, we, had, we played it as several different, oh, hello there, several different classes, and I vaguely remember really not liking uh, the archer class. What the heck did I just get? Did I just get vampirism? Did I just get vampirism? What is that? Where's my con- where's my- where's my index menu? I got an iron chest. What's this got? <gasps> leather weapon. Ooh, a piece of weathered leather. A leather weapon is probably not the most, uh, intimidating piece of, uh, your arsenal, but I- I suppose it will do- it will do some dings and dangs and- Bings and bongs, I'm sure. Oh, he do be speeding up. He do be speeding up, okay. But no, I remember not liking the archer class at all. The aiming was so clunky. Ooh, HP. The aiming was so clunky. Fire? Fire? Just insta-kill. You can't even touch me. Please more, <laughs> can I get more, uh, what are those called, sconces? Oh, Jesus. Nice. I do enjoy a good wall hack. <laughs> All the fellow Tarkov players that I have in my community go re. Oh, no. The Grand Academy. So this is a new biome. I would like to leave. Thank you. I'll stick with Castle Hampson for now. I'm not going to call you Citadel Argatha. Or Agartha, because it's a very weird name, and... Oh! This is my, uh... Can I break it? I can't break it, okay. Oh, yeah, this, this is boss fight. Yeah. Obviously, it's boss fight. Can't you tell on the freaking top right where your map is, you dumbass? Of course, it's a boss fight. What's that middle room, though? God, the map is so cool in this one. I don't want to fight the boss. What is this? This is a... You hear a thousand whispers, but can't make out a voice. Exciting. Attack it. Okay. I'm not going into the boss fight yet. I'm going to keep calling it Castle Ham. Sin! Calling it anything else is evil. Was that max mana upgrade? Or is it... Oh, it just gives me maximum mana. Plinky. and <laughs> nerd. Who's this guy in the picture? This is a very aggressive ball. Just a just a very aggressive ball. I can't believe I got hit again, but I just got a Turkin. So just knock him back, dude. I'm I'm owning. Oh baby, defeat all enemies. Don't get hit. Oh, 
Oh, let's go. <laughs> we got the Hastrune fairy chest first time. You got a need, a need for speed. Haste rune movement speed up. We can upgrade that when we get back to our, our main base. Extremely cool, baby. Nope. Please, please don't hit me. Please, please, please don't hit me. I, I am but innocent boy. Uh, I misjudged my hitbox. Sir James has been slain by a hazard. You can find bloodstone at very chest. The deeper into the kingdom you go, the more bloodstones you'll get. So what is bloodstone? Is that, it's got to be a new currency, right? But I didn't get any bloods. I got ten. But I didn't get any there. Okay. Can I zoom in on the map? Can I, like, interact with the map? No. Okay. That would have been cool if you could interact with the map and see, like, the stuff you've done. All right. So for those that don't... Uh, for those that know the gist of how Rogue Legacy works, it's the same in Rogue Legacy 2. When you die, you uh, return as a new heir. You take over as a new heir. So Sir James passed away, and now I pass on my legacy to his child, and I get to choose one of three various children. And of course, all I have are knights right now, with no opportunity to re-roll, because I'm sure that's still going to be uh, upgrading the uh, the, uh, my brain, manor, one of the manor upgrades you can buy. Sip of the beverage, of course. So we've got Sir Paul, the stable fable, good at everything, and marriage, a perfect marriage material, so that's our knight. Uh, he starts with the great sword, they all got great swords, they all got shield block, because nothing changes between the classes there. However, Sir Paul has the searing shot, uh, straight and arrow burning magic, Shockwave blasts enemies away with audible wave and goes through walls. And White Star explosions know their no neither friend or foe. So can you can damage yourself with that? Okay, so it's a White Star explosion. Also has antique Freon's reward. Opening chest restores health. That's extremely cool. That is a very good trait. Healing on opening chests is very cool. FMF fan. Plays this character to reveal it. Chronic fatigue syndrome. Hollow Bones! Oh god, so fall damage. I'm assuming fall damage from the image and the name alone. Fall damage on Lady Alex. Sir Sean? FMF fan? I'm, why am I- what is FMF? I know what that means, but my brain is blanking on it. It's a game. I'm gonna go with chest heal. I know it's- No, I'm not gonna go with the FMF fan, of course. I wanna figure out what this thing is. All right, so universal health stare. Socialism, socialism at its worst, so 50 cost to upgrade this. Welcome to the future. Health care unlocked, just like in the... No, okay. Your kingdom has decided to tax the rich to care for the poor. Contentious decision for sure, but let's see how it pans out. Certain traits now give gold bonuses. Lovely. Okay, so that's max uh, for gold modifiers. You can now give ingress... Gain gold for certain traits, and you can up basically upgrade this current stat. Or we can unlock the Ranger class. Bows for foes. Rain down a pain and flesh foes from afar with a son assortment of arrows. Rangers can take a lot of hits, but they can't take a lot of hits, but they don't have to when they're shooting enemies from millions of miles away. No, I don't want to switch to the Ranger class, because I do not like it. Blacksmith unlock. What the blacksmith lacks in creativity makes for up an age. Gather blueprints for him and it'll unlock stuff for you. Cool. And as you unlock stuff in the manor, of course, it branches out more and more and more. We're going to unlock the Enchantress, who allows us to equip runes. Amazing. Max rune weight. Increase that. Max weight capacity. Unlocks the training dummy. Absolutely. You think I'm going to be in my manor without the training dummy? Combat training, of course. She can teach it. Lady Quinn can teach you advanced combat maneuvers down by the docks. Ooh. Wait, that's Lady Quinn. Okay, that's a new NPC. Cool. Unlocks Mastery Rank. <laughs> that's one of the new things, right? Yeah, Mastery Experience System. Let's unlock that just to see what the new system is. You now gain Mastery XP with each class. Gain enough XP to rank up and earn permanent stat bonuses. Ooh. XP gain. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, so let's... We've got 320 left. I want to kind of just keep branching out and get more classes. Right now we only have the two classes. Valkyrie's a new class. There's the Valkyrie, there's there's three new classes, I can't remember the other two, but Valkyrie is definitely one of the new classes, and I kind of want to see the Valkyrie, but we don't have enough. It's 325 to unlock it. 
Uh, barbarians, of course, and mages. We can actually get the two new classes here. Welcome to Spin City! Don't let their bulky bodies and low IQ fool you. Barbarians are some of the most agile warriors in the kingdom. Armed with a powerful axe, barbarians are a whirling wheel of death and more. No. Building castles is tough. Enter labor costs. Labor's costs rise with each grade. Upgrade, making each purchase slightly more expensive. Consider how you spend. Blah, blah, blah. Inflation. That's fine. Give me that wizard class. Or mage class. I think wizard is, or archmage is the uh, upgraded version. Because you can upgrade your classes as you pr proceed in the game. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that that's how they're going to handle it in this one as well. Considering that's how they handled it in the first one. Um... Masters of Magic Mages tapped into the primal elements that govern this world. High magic, low DPS. Super cool. Um, we got 60 remaining. Can I do anything? 1,275 for increased gain uh, experience by 5%. Oof. 1,525. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Is there anything I could do for 70 or 60? I can almost make that offshore investments. Ooh, ooh, restore mana and a health when entering the boss chamber by 20%. So that can go up to 100. That can be, that can, that goes up to a full heal on entering a boss fight. That's really good. That is something that we're going to definitely want to grab. Increase health gain from meat. That's a very interesting unlock for study hall, I guess. Increase mind raising spell and talent damage. And also it's a dual, dual task. Okay, so castle view. Little, little, uh, little lackluster on the whole castle. We're missing the entire, uh, west wing. But that's okay. We'll build the west wing later. Exit that skill tree. Lady Mana Quinn. Lady Quinn. God, that's so stupid and also so funny. Sorry about the stutter. Nice talking to you. So... I just missed what the, the stats, the, the things actually did. FMF fan. Gold plus 15%. You're probably Korean. <laughs> okay. Uh, chronic fatigue syndrome. Gold plus 15%. CS to assault all spells and talents have a cooldown. Ooh, that's interesting, but definitely spooky for certain for certain classes. If I was a mage, that would really piss me off. Especially if you're the archmage and you can have master classes. Uh, that would be, that would be pretty nasty. Backslash, butt slash. Okay. Yo, what up? You're not gonna be able to do anything for me, bud. But I do have blueprints for you. Dude, I got blueprints for days. Yeah, these things are... 200, 250. You really want to gear up prior to, like, a, a big run and not actually do any upgrades. Same with runes. Like, I really want the haste rune, but it's probably going to be, what, three? It's going to be 250, right? 500! Okay, I was going to I was gonna say 450 because runes are usually more expensive because they're extremely good. Uh, Yeah, 500... Oh, you need bloodstones for this. I have 10 bloodstones. It just didn't tell me that I got them from the run. Okay. And then opals and other gems. There's a lot of different currencies in the game, for sure. Break that. Yo, what's up? Behold. I am the living totem and you are not bound to me. All of your knowledge will be housed within my spirit wood. Giggity. To gain mastery in one profession is to gain advantages for all. I have a hard time reading all caps. What we share in knowledge makes us strong. That is all. Why are you still here? My monologue is over. I'm bad at idle banter. Mondays, am I right? It's actually a Friday. Spoilers. Is it a Friday? Is it Friday? It is Friday. It's Friday morning right now. Okay, mastery. Sweet. Okay, let's go, Karan. Let us go. One must pay the toll. 30%? Is it really only 30%? No, I was going to say, it's all... Let's say it's all my money when you start out. You give him all your money when you start out, and then you can upgrade that to get better savings. I'm gonna do one more run. I know it's 24 minutes. I hope you guys aren't mad at me for doing this, but... I feel like doing that first run was kind of a, a cop-out if I were to stop right now. 
<laughs> oh no, I don't have mana. Oh, it's got cooldown. I forgot that it's got a cooldown. I forgot that it has a cooldown. That's my class. It's got a cooldown. So at least I'm this guy and I do a decent amount of damage. Jacusta. Please don't break the stuff while you're. Let's come back up. Hmm. I think they might. They might not, though. I don't know. I'm glad I didn't take that fragile hollow bones lady, because I had to take in fall damage there, I bet. I bet that's what that was. Goes through walls. <sighs> Excuse me? Can I not bounce off of the, uh, the normal spikes? Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's so good. Oh my god, alright, let's go. Fairy rune, amplification. Bend space time to make people hot for a little longer. Increase duration of status effects. Ooh. Yes, please. <laughs> Fight me, cowards. Oh. The cowards are fighting me. Their names are Plinky, Inky, Blinky, and Twinky. Give me that steel chest. Oh, baby. It's plus 30% on all my gold right now because I got the, the two traits. Which is a lovely trade-off. I didn't even mention that, but that's a lovely, lovely gameplay trade-off for taking negative effects on a character. I do not believe that is actually how it functioned in the first one. I think the first one was actually just based on your class. Correct me if I'm wrong, of course, but I believe it was just based on your class. Like, the miner got more gold, the wizard got less gold... Etc. Etc. Like you could still upgrade like how much total gold you got, but like there were flat bonuses for the character, not for your traits. Not having a double jump is rough because I can't get gold off spikes anymore, but that's okay. Ooh, a big boy. Speaking of a big boy, yeah, ooh, speaking of a big boy, what's up? You hear a thousand whispers who can't make a voice? Okay, so that's definitely something I gotta touch in the future. Patience, I got time. Oh no. Cooldown. Five second cooldown. I missed! I can't believe I missed. What a turd. Okay. Boss room. Okay, so. Boss room. See, I feel like these should give me... Oh! Scholar chest envelope worn by the Acolytes of the Study. Okay. So, like, in the original version, I guess... You don't get, uh... Oh, do I have to light him for it? Hold on. I think I might have to light them for the, the healing. Hmm... That's going to be tough. I feel like that's what you have to do, though, because I feel like you should be able to interact with these to get your health and mana ups. 
like in the first game, you would be able to get a uh, health and a mana up on each of the statues that's in the first game. In this one, it's those these uh. Oh, <gasps> Jozo statue. Anunke of the Shawl. Who he has stumbled into my abode. Sweet child, hasn't thou thine lost thine thine? Give it to me. You regain all your yes. Give it to me. Give me that shawl. Insight discovered. New worlds traveled to see an additional information. Completed the challenge to get the power of momentum. I believe this is a dash attack that I can get here. Yeah, dash. Let's go. Don't even talk to me about this. Don't even talk to me about this. Oh my god, okay. <gasps> ah! Ah! You know what? Oh my god, I'm hitting the wrong button. I'm hitting the wrong button. <gasps> no! You gotta give me the... You gotta give me the ah. I'm a failure. I'm a failure. Let me out. <laughs> Let me out. Let me be. Don't let me die. I got all my stuff back, but like, I feel like I've dropped. Oh yeah, 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 I was gonna say I feel like I dropped the ball on this challenge. Yes, give me the dash, the shawl, a nunke shawl. Now I don't remember if that's a perma perma thing that you keep throw all your characters. It might be, but I don't remember. You will get all your HP and mana back. Excuse me. I still have 9 HP, you coward. You lying shit. What? What? Bruh. Okay, so now can I do this? <sighs> He's done it. Oh, it's to open the door. It makes sense, okay. I've unlocked Lamech's throne. No, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> that's not what I meant to, I promise you. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to, you know, ooh. I, d I definitely did not mean to open the door. I definitely meant to, uh, oh, I need some, I need some of that sweet, sweet HP. Get roasted, son. Get roasted, son. <sighs> Cooldown sucks. Cooldown sucks. I ain't a fan of it. Ah, so this was a, you must start from the bottom and go up. So it's a tough room, but I ended up going from bottom to top. I... <laughs> I thought I had mana. That's my bad. I jumped out to... I was gonna shoot my thing up. 
Look at that, knight rank one. 1,500 experience until I get rank two knight. I was gonna shoot my mana up and then dash to the left. I completely forgot I didn't have mana, so I just free, fall, free fell into the into my death. But that's okay, because we get to uh, play with somebody else next time. So you get plus 15% gold. Okay. Rare Relic, Antique Kosa's Shell. Invulnerable to the next three hits. You start with a thing that gives you a mil a mil in yeah, invulnerability to three hits. OCD, you break stuff to get mana. Clumsy, I think you just when you run into stuff, it breaks, and you no longer break it by hitting it. Muscle weakness is you get less knockback. Gravity beam? For use against house fires. Fire is a massive beam. I do like massive beams. Winter's shout. Now we'll, we'll we'll go with uh We'll go with uh your boy here, but I'm gonna wrap it up for the our first look at Far Shores, the Far Shores update of Rogue Legacy 2. Seems like it has a lot more content. I mean, when I first played it, it had one biome. So the fact that they've not only added several other before this update, but now there's actually two new ones, two new bosses for those biomes, and three new classes on top of that, as well as the entire rework, rebalancing that they've done. It actually seems like it's almost a game worth worth playing. So uh, I'm going to finish up this stuff and... Uh, Offshore investments, I think that's where you can... Yeah, percentage of the gold you give to car and a save between runs. Spin kick? What? Bamboo garden. Give me the Valkyrie. Girl meet boy. Attack from afar, up high, or down low. With their range and ability to attack in any direction, Valkyries are considered the cheesiest of soldiers. And thanks to gender equality initiatives, some Valkyries are boys. There you go. Yeah, we'll switch to the Valkyrie class. It's fine. If they think I'm going to do another run, I ain't going to do another run. Etching Embers increase max rune weight. We've done that. Strength raising weapon damage. I kind of just want to do... Something expensive that I can just knock out of the way. For one fell swoop. What's something that's super expensive I can just knock out? I guess probably... Probably this is the best. This will become available in a later patch. Oh no, we've already run into a a thing you can't upgrade. That's okay. And there's the duelist. That's a, another new class, I believe. The duelist. All right. Well, thank you everybody for watching. Look at this spear. Ooh. Cooldown. Why do you have a cooldown? Maybe that attack has a cooldown. God, Monka. That seems... How much damage did that do? 90? I mean, that's very strong. That's very strong. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you being here, hanging out for some Rogue Legacy 2. Feels good to be playing this game again. If you enjoyed it, of course, hit the link down below to get the game yourself. I like how you can actually see your own manner in the background building up i didn't realize that at first you can actually see the progress they're making on it shout out seller cellador games you guys are amazing pick the game up yourself uh or wait till it's fully complete that's perfectly fine um leave a like comment subscribe all that kind of jazz and uh, until the next time i see you in the next video we'll catch you guys then bye bye